Picture this. Expectant mothers, navigating the challenges of pregnancy, doomed with a nauseating, energy-draining sensation called nausea gravidarum, or as we know it, morning sickness. It's a misnomer, of course, as this relentless pest can invade at any moment, day or night. For some, the discomfort is similar to sleep deprivation, a hangover, or an endless carousel ride. For others, it's intense enough to induce vomiting, a far cry from the glamorous portrayal in romantic comedies. 1% of women may endure hyperemesis gravidarum, a severe form of morning sickness that can lead to weight loss, dehydration, alkalosis, and hypokalemia. The silver lining is most morning sickness begins to subside in the second trimester. So, why must nature impose such suffering alongside bloating, backaches, constipation, and peculiar facial discoloration? There are many intriguing theories to explain it. Many experts point fingers at the hormonal roller coaster expectant mother's experience, particularly the rise of human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG. Produced by the embryo and later the placenta, HCG helps maintain vital pregnancy hormones. Its levels often double every two to three days, peaking around the third month. Some speculate this HCG overload overstimulates the brain's chemoreceptor trigger zone, CTZ, which governs the vomit reflex, leading to a one-way ticket to pukeful. HCG isn't the only hormone in the hot seat. Estrogen levels, which can soar 100 times higher during pregnancy, have also been implicated. However, studies have yet to confirm a correlation between estrogen levels and morning sickness. Progesterone, another hormone that increases to prevent early childbirth, may relax stomach and intestinal muscles, resulting in excess stomach acid and acid reflux, potentially contributing to morning sickness. Hypoglycemia, or low blood sugar due to the energy-hungry placenta, could also play a part. This is why doctors advise pregnant women to eat frequent, small meals. Increased sensitivity to smell might make expectant mothers more susceptible to unpleasant odors, too. One fascinating theory proposes that morning sickness is an evolutionary adaptation, protecting mothers and their unborn children from harmful toxins in food. When the mother is feeling ill, she tends to prefer safe, bland foods like simple carbs over riskier options like meat, eggs, dairy, and certain vegetables. Interestingly, a baby's vulnerability to specific toxins peaks at the end of the first trimester, when morning sickness typically eases. The exact cause of morning sickness may remain mysterious, but the struggle is real. So, let's offer a little extra kindness to those pregnant women navigating this tumultuous journey. Thanks for tuning into this captivating episode. Please do like, share and subscribe if you have found this video useful.